Well, it's time to start our journey to Wembley, everybody. It's FA Cup qualification day, and we've actually got a winnable draw for once, although we did last year when we played South Shields and we still lost that. Oh, well. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2019. I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 3 of Season 2 of The Journeyman with South Shields. And in today's episode we take on Biggles Wade in the FA Cup qualifying and then we take on our former club from last year's Journeyman, Boston, in the Vanarama National League. Since you were last with us we've had a couple of matches, uh, one against Leamington Spa uh, which we drew 0-0 and then uh, we lost 2-0 to Barrow as well. I mean, we, we actually acquitted ourselves fairly well in that match and uh, we, we lost another goal towards the end as we were pushing for a goal. But uh, things are looking okay in the league at the minute. 14th place, 10 points from 9 games, as I said in the last episode. If we can keep that points tally higher than the, the games played, then I think we'll be just about okay this season. And you never know, we might get a bit of a run going. Um, but we definitely didn't make the most of that uh, three-game spell uh, at home, just getting the three points out of that. Uh, we have brought in a couple of more players, um, and uh, we're in the process of bringing in another one, but we've brought in Miles Anderson, uh, a 29-year-old centre-back from Hartlepool on a free transfer. Seems like a decent signing to me. Uh, got plenty of experience at this level, um, so should be a good sign. We also brought in Reese York, 19 years old, four-star scouting reports. Got some really good attributes in there, and uh, he's come in from Sheffield United on a free transfer. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in action over the coming weeks. This is the team that we're going for today. Brendan Pearson will start and go with Baxter, Morse, Anderson and Mazapu or Mazampu in defence. We've got York, Wright and Patterson in the midfield with Jackson and Crankshaw starting wide of Carl Finnegan. I am starting to sort of uh, understand the team a little bit, see where our weaknesses are and uh, see where our very few strengths are. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, um, defensively we've been okay so far. It's just going forward. We haven't had the goals. It's a little bit like uh, Darlow last season. You know, we 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 did fairly well, but it didn't it didn't have the goals really. But at least we had Staichi and and Ainge getting some goals. Here's right into the middle. Morse is round the other side. Anderson's there. And that should have been 1-0, but it is another corner. Uh, the keeper saved it. And here comes Matty Patterson with the corner kick. Gets it in uh, towards Morse. Morse gets it back in and right. He's there to score. It's 1-0 within five minutes. I really don't know how low Biggles weighed her down the English pyramid. But, um, yeah, uh, hopefully... Hopefully we'll manage to get the victory today and it might just pump a little bit of confidence into the side. Um, you know, scoring a few goals today. Maybe Carl Finnegan, if he can score a few as well, then it might just help our league form. It sounds silly, but just just, just actually being better than somebody for once and um, and managing to, to score some goals can really, really help your side, especially in football manager. So I hope I'm hoping for that today. We're already one 0 up. We'll take that, you know, through the next round. But it would be nice to to batter them today and and certainly get some confidence into the veins of these boys. But um, 40 minutes in, we're not really doing anything to be honest with you, uh, which is annoying. You know, as I say, I want to see a performance. Greg Rutherford, I've just seen his name. There he is. Oh, we gotta try and get him in. Good old Greg Rutherford. Oh, remember remember him from last year's journey, man. Oh, could be onto one there. Yeah, he was uh, the famous man that scored a, a, an absolutely beautiful goal uh, to win us the, the opening game of last year's journey, man. Uh, they're a man down, but don't let your performance levels drop. Aye, aye to that one. <clears throat> but um, hopefully... 
hopefully we won't let the performance levels drop. But yeah, it would be nice to see uh, Greg Rutherford back uh, on on onto YouTube, and and certainly would give us an option up top. I know he can certainly play at this level, so yeah, quite a decent spot there. Finnegan's going to come off. He's been disappointing again. We're going to put uh, Muir up there as as an advanced forward. And, and just see what he can do. This is more of a his sort of level match where, you know, he was scoring 33 goals the other year at this sort of level. So I'm hoping that he's, he's going to be able to do something today. But again, just we seem a bit flat, which is... I guess it's it's caused by our league form being quite bad, you know. Um, we're not scoring many in the league, so we don't have the confidence going into this sort of match. But uh, anyway, well, we we have the ball. We're still winning the match, which is good. Uh, but stats wise, we're not dominating, and that that's slightly worrying. You know, we've only uh, got a goal off a, a set piece so far. We haven't created anything in open play so to speak and and they're coming at us here he has cut roll oh and there you go it's one all and that is frustrating because in no way should we be losing to this this side and uh i i wouldn't want to replay it whatsoever <laughs> to be honest with you um bringing them back to to to, to mariners park would uh would be a disaster. Here's Jackson on the right hand side. He's pushing forward, but again, just a really, really poor cross. But uh, if we if we bring them to Mariners, then I guess it gives us another opportunity to inject some confidence into the side. But I want that to be today. Switching the play just a little bit loose, a little bit loose. Here's McNamara now. Dubois. On the ball to Forbes, and they could still win this match quite easily. And there you go, we've given them a penalty. Here we go. Forbes steps up. And it's two one. Two one to Biggles Wade. And there's me talking about injecting confidence. What a way to zap confidence out of the system, losing to a team this far down the English pyramid. This is, this is awful. Mazambu's been terrible. Uh, so has Rhys York, actually. The exciting new youngster has, uh, has done nothing to excite, excite me today. Ten minutes to go here. We've got five minutes to to stay in the FA Cup Chapman gets it forward to Muir this could be a chance for Muir and he scores Nico Muir with his first goal of the season an absolutely beautiful assist from Adam Chapman there and Muir puts it into the back of the net and thank goodness we've managed to do that it was a lovely ball forward from Adam Chapman Muir was there and he was cool under pressure to slide it past the goalkeeper and he's made it 2 all now. And I'll tell you what, I'd love to get a late winner here, but it's not going to happen. We're into the 97th minute now. And we'll be taking this one back to Filtrona Park at the Bede Industrial Estate. <sighs> Pearson gets it away. McNamara now. And he's been shoved over. Surely this has got to be it with three minutes over time. There we have it. And Biggles Wade have pulled off a bit of an upset there, to be honest with you. We are very disappointed with that. It was a chance to get some confidence back in, but if if anything, it's proved that with the draw specialists. Well, we have a couple of changes for this match against Boston, which has been rearranged, which is really annoying because uh, we've only had a couple of days rest now uh, going into this important match. But we've got Luke Wall coming in. At left back, um, we're also going to put Chapman into the midfield instead of Rhys York, and we've brought in new signing Curtis Bateson uh, into the the right winger position. So hopefully he'll manage to do something okay today on his debut away to Boston. It is going to be a tough match. We know it is. Um, we just got to hopefully 
put in a, a decent performance. Uh, that's that's what we're looking for. All the away games this year, it is a bonus if we get anything out of them. Obviously, we have to get something out of some of them. Um, otherwise, we're in a, a whole heap of trouble. But, uh, you know, it's our home games that we need to zone in on. Here's Davies with a free kick, and that is not a good start. Two minutes in, and we've conceded a free kick. And look at all the fans that have come to support us. It's wonderful the support that, that Shields fans give the team, but uh, they don't want to see that. They don't want to see us going 1-0 down within two minutes and then rolling over for the next 90. Here's Little. Gets it forward. It's away, but absolutely nobody there. And George Willis has just got to come forward, and now he boots it. Here's Lomas. I, why, why did Bateson move out of the way there? But well, here he is. Oh, he's tripped over himself, and it's going to be 2-0. Oh, for goodness sake. Why did he trip over? <sighs> Six minutes in, and we're 2-0 down. <clears throat> and, and, you know, no lies. This is the worst we've looked. I mean, that was just stupid. Davies into the middle. Oh, that was nearly 3-0. Right, we need to demand more from them. Come on, boys. Come on. Quarter of an hour in. They're absolutely stuffing us so far, it's fair to say. Well, now that we've sort of settled into the match, we're, we're not conceding, which is good to see. And uh, they don't seem to have had any chances recently, which is also good to see. But... Uh, we need to turn this round in the second half. We really do. A goal before half time would be uh, priceless. But here's Saunders, Harvey Saunders. We know he's a load of rubbish. <laughs> Crankshaw. Oh, for goodness sake. Here's Abbott. Gets a fall. Wall's got it. Now here's Finnegan. Chapman. Chapman. Uh, right. Patterson. Chapman. Just, I just don't know what was going on there. What a terrible pass. Here's Bateson. What is going on? Why are they passing so bad? Roberts. Into the middle. Oh, Watts has hit the bar. I mean... What are you meant to do with that? What a terrible first half. And left back position again. Just like last year... Really, really struggling with left backs um, on FM uh, FM nineteen so far. We'll put Barnett in there. We haven't really got anybody else to sort of turn to, but we just got to try our best, haven't we? Here's Crankshaw. He's pushing forward now. Right, Finnegan. This would be a good time to score if we can. Chapman. Right. Frustrating. Really, really frustrating. Just how poor their passing is today. You know, we haven't seen that sort of thing this season so far. And, and now we're... I don't know, we're getting into an important spell where we're now only two points clear of the relegation zone. So... We're going to need to start getting results uh, and stop riding off our decent start. Here's Crankshaw. Oh, Saunders is off. Oh, it's a penalty. <laughs> oh, he was nowhere near the ball. Sometimes I wonder why people like watching the 3D. It just shows you the absolute awful nature of some of the things that your team do. Uh, 3-0 now. Keeper got close, but ultimately couldn't get a touch on it. Here's Patterson with a free kick. Oof. Nearly gave the, the the grandstand something to something to shout about there, but I mean, there's there's some real shocking performances in there. I don't know how Chapman's 
managed to weasel a 6.8 out of it. Some of his passing was horrific, but 3-0, that's our worst defeat of the season so far, and it's the, the, the worst we've looked. But luckily, it's against a team that's top of the league, so maybe not time to panic just yet, but uh, that really was a, a poor performance, and now... As it says, six six games without a win, and I mean in all competitions, it's now seven games without a without a win, and uh, we now go into the, the the replay and then Blythe Spartans, and and quite quickly the games start catching up with us a little bit. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that, and if you have, then make sure you do leave a like down below. Really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily FM content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.